ladies and gentlemen, it's time to geek out. So, the official cast, the official main cast of Star Wars Episode 7 has been announced and said who these are and what and they're back here for. Uh, let's start it off with the returning cast, which I'm still really pleased with. Um, you know, Harrison Ford as you know who, Han Solo, Mark Hamill, Carrie Fisher, um, Ethel D- Daniels as C3PO, Peter Mayhew as Chewbacca, and Kenny Baker as R2D2, which I'm really happy because they're not using practical effects, they're using the actual main characters and what the material they were made out of so they can be viewed in a film like that as before. Which I'm so excited to see. Like, oh, mm, that's such a. I can rip this smile off my face, face right now. Although I have, I have known this type of news uh, for about a week and a half now. So people will say, why didn't you make this video before? Because I just was in the mood. So I decided that I would make it. And now here's a new cast, which I'm really excited for. Um, we, have a, we have a new actress named Daisy Ridley, who I've never seen or heard before. Okay, she, I'm like, okay, uh, all right, she could be good. We also have Oscar Isaac from the from the movie Drive, which is one of my favorite films of 2011, which I thought was a very great film. And he was also in a movie called Inside Lewin Davis, which I never got to see. I wish I could see that, hopefully. And we also have actors like John Boyega, who's in this, which I'm really excited. Was, uh, he's from a TV show I may have heard of, I forgot the name right now. I'm sorry, but... We also have Max von Sydow. Yes, we have him. The guy from The Exorcist is in this movie. I'm like, oh, he looks great. And I saw a picture of him on Google Images. I'm like, if anything, he will play Obi-Wan Kenobi's uh, ghost. I mean, hopefully, if he's returning, I could see that in it. And I'm most excited for him. <laughs> Just, oh, thank you. Thank you, J.J. Abrams. I'm so happy to see this. Is Andy, Andy fucking circus? I'm just so happy to see that. I'm just like, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm so excited to see Andy Circus in this movie. Like he's playing a character. I'm just like, I never been this. Happy to see this. I'm like, oh my god, he was in one of the best movie series of all time. And now he's in Star Wars, which is another one of my favorite series of all time. I'm just like, oh, thank you, thank you so much. I'm just like, oh. I'm sorry, I'm just seriously geeking out right now. But then again, this is the main official cast. We don't, there's maybe side characters that we don't know, or maybe even guest appearances. Even cameos we may or may not see in this film coming. So mainly this, the side casting still unpredictable, which I'm really excited for too. I mean, good, keep it open, keep it coming for new actors. But then again, that's also a bad thing for the film because if we never seen these actors before, will they good? Will they give a good or bad performance in this film? Because that could really hinder their future in film. However, actors like Max von Sindel and Andy Serkis and me, I'm just like, their reputations are still really awesome and nothing can beat that. So I'm really excited for the main cast. There's a few of them which I'm kind of worried for, for like how I said it before, you know, if they never start a big motion picture um, action blockbuster, this may be a big mistake or not. We don't know until it's finally shown. I'm I'm still so excited, but then again, I'm still kind of optimistic about it. Like, do they really want these casts? I'm not so sure. It's, 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 it's a real gamble, I want to say. It's a real gamble. And the original cast, I'm I'm just still over the moon about. Thank you, J.J. Abrams, so very very much. I mean, because that he is such a creative, crisp, bright visual view on a film. Like, if you've seen the modern two Star Trek films that came out in 2009, and last year Into Darkness, which is one of, by the way, one of my favorite films that came out last year, I just love those two movies of death. They're so good. They're so, so freaking good. I'm just like, 
if he does this in this visual style he had from Star Trek to Star Wars, we could be in for a real treat. We could seriously be in for a great surprise. But then again, we, it may be a flip in the ass. Like, this may not be the best thing. Like we don't, we really no one, no one really knows about it. To be honest, we can't say that oh this is gonna be great, or that people could say that oh this is gonna be crap. We truly do not know until it is fully shown to us, and we can only criticize it from that. So for this video, I am just really happy, and I'm really really happy to see Andy Circus and our returning cast and Dick Von Dyke. I'm like, uh, uh, I mean Max Von, you know. Um, I'm just, I'm just so happy, and thank you, J.J. Abrams. You're just a true Star Wars fan to the end of all time. And I also have my own lightsaber. <laughs> I don't know why. I just wanted to show it. But I'm still very happy. And thank you, J.J. Abrams. I hope for the best in the movie. I do not want to be disappointed. Oh, by the way, before I end this video, please make sure there's no annoying side characters. So that's thing I want to say. Because as someone who likes, someone like me who admits they like the prequels, no one can admit this is that, or anyone can admit this is that Jar Jar sucks. He's flat out. He sucks, and I think everyone said it. I'm taking a dead horse right now. It's really unoriginal, but I don't. Whatever. But I I really do hope for the best, and I hope Star Wars Episode Seven will not be disappointing. So thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. Remember, stay strong.